Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. It is me Desiree and it's time for the old empties video. I did film this a couple of days ago and there were only five products in here and three of them were sheet masks. So I decided not to do it. And then over the next just couple of days, several things emptied out. So I'm glad I waited because I have a more substantial empties video for you. So these are all the products I finished up in October. Of course, little mini reviews, stuff like that. So let's get these sheet masks out of the way. This is the Tony Moly Brightening Vitamin C Sheet Mask. I like this one. It gives like almost immediate brightening results. I really like that, but I don't like the scent of it. It smells like lemon Lysol or something or lemon pledge. I don't know. Scent is not for me, but I really like this mask. I did buy a pack of them at TJ Maxx or something. So I have a few more to use, but I liked it. I used the pharmacy hydrating coconut gel sheet mask. This was amazing. I have never had a mask fit my face so perfectly as this one did. It was biocellulose, so it's like a thick gel kind of mask, not a cloth one. And it just, it's it stuck onto my face so well. It had the perfect amount of serum in it. It didn't slip or slide off of my face. I didn't want to take it off. Like, I'm like, this is just how my face is going to be now. I'm just going to have this on all the time. I loved it so much. Would buy this again, but I think it's expensive for a sheet mask. Maybe just like a one-time kind of treat here and there. I used up the Sioris Make It Bright sheet mask. This is one I always forget I even used until I show it in an empties video. It's okay, but you know, kind of forgettable. And then there was this one from Miguhara, this big boy. This is the big three-step anti-wrinkle mask pack. So look how big this mask is. It came with three steps, a ampule that you put on your face and then the, the mask that you put on top of that. And then after that's done, it comes with a moisturizer. And I loved all three of these steps. I thought it was really cool. I think I have one more of these, like a different one, and I can't wait to use it now. I loved this a lot. I would buy that again. Not only was it really fun, but it was like, I don't know, a different kind of mask experience. Another one of the Pyeongkang Yo Calming Mask Packs. I love these. These were sent to me by um, stylekorean.com. Love Pyeongkang Yo, love this mask. Um, would repurchase those with my own money. Oh, this was really cool. This is an anti-frizz sheet for your hair. So this is something I showed in my what's in my locker emergency makeup video and I had a couple of these anti-frizz sheets in there for your hair. And I assumed this was gonna be like a dry cloth, like a dryer sheet, honestly, that you just kind of run over your hair and it will take the frizz out. But it was actually wet. It was a wet cloth and it has in here water, dimethicone of some sort, coconut oil, castor oil, and a little bit of fragrance. I loved this. I wore my hair down to work the other day, which I never do. Um, it was half up, half down. And of course, my hair is all over the place. It's getting kind of tangled and stringy looking. So I pulled this out and it was a lifesaver. It makes your hair a little bit damp because it's a wet cloth, but not enough that it's gonna ruin your style or anything like that. Um, I thought it was gonna like make my hair wavy again because I had it straight that day. And it didn't, it just made it like smooth and soft and it had a, such a good scent to it. I really, really liked these. I, I would totally look into buying some of these, but I have no idea where I got it from or where to even get another one, but I really, really liked it. All right, another mask. This is the Bliss Mighty Marshmallow Bright and Radiant Whipped Mask. This is one of my all-time favorites, all-time favorite masks right here. I love using this one in the morning. Um, when I wake up, before I get in the shower, I get some of this, slides it all over my face. There's just something about this scent. The scent to me is very specific to this. Like I've never smelled this smell in any other skincare product before. But what this smells like, okay, it smells like wax bottles. I don't know if you remember those wax, it's like a little tiny bottle of juice that's made out of wax and you like bite the top off and you like chew on it and it has a tiny like a tablespoon, like even not even a tablespoon, like a, a thimble amount of juice in it. But the way that those taste is how this smells. If you know what that smells or tastes like. I love it. It smells like citrus. It's bright. It's just a nice morning mask. It's brightening on your skin as well. Really lovely texture. I love this mask so much. It had one more use in it and I just didn't want to use it because I was like, no, it's going to be gone. But I loved it. 100% would buy that again. I used up the Sol de Janeiro Rio Dio Aluminum Free Deodorant. I loved this so much. I purchased this because of Coffee Break with Danny. She said she really liked it. 
So this is Sol de Janeiro's um, deodorant, and it smells exactly like the Boom Boom cream, but not that strong. So when I have this on, I get a whiff of it every now and then, like when I'm getting hot or overheated, I kind of get a little whiff of this deodorant, but it's not so strong that it competes with your body lotion you put on or perfume. You know, sometimes you buy a deodorant and then all you can smell all day is your deodorant. That's not what this does. It's just the nicest, lightest scent. Um, and it works. I couldn't believe how good it was. Really good as a deodorant. And even though it's not an antiperspirant, I still feel like it kept me dry. I don't know what it was. 100% would buy this. I was so sad when I ran out. I'm hoping that they do like a value set of some sort during the holidays because I want to buy this again. Only thing is, I feel like I used this up so quick. It is a lot softer of a stick, so maybe that had something to do with it. But I feel like any other deodorant I have for like the whole year, one stick for a year, if not just two maybe. But I feel like I use this whole thing up in like two months. But... I would buy it again. I loved it so much. And I ended up buying something else recently and I don't like it and I want to buy this one again. I used up the Derma E Vitamin C Concentrated Serum. I got this in a little sample bag from Ulta. I really liked this. I had no issues with it. Um, I don't know if I'd go out of my way to buy it again, but it was good while it lasted. It's an airless pump, which was nice. But of course, the thing with airless pumps, you never know when it's going to be your last little squirt. Um, but I loved this a lot. Didn't sting my skin, interfere with any of my other products. It was decent. Wouldn't go out of my way to buy it again though. I have had this for at least three years, if not four years. This is the Briogeo uh, Curl Charisma Leave-In Defining Cream. So I bought this because I tried a little sample. I want to say it was at least three years ago, if not four years. I'm going to look it up and put it right here, but at least three years ago. Um, I love the sample so much that I bought the full size. This lasts so long because you don't need that much. You need like the littlest bit. It'll go in all of your hair. It is what I put in my hair every single time I wash it, which is what I did this morning. Um, and I love that it makes my hair look wavy, but not frizzy. It's not weighed down. It's not too heavy. It doesn't have a strong scent. It's not greasy. This is a wonderful, wonderful hair care product, especially if you have curly hair, or even just not curly, but like some waves to it and you want them a little more defined, maybe not frizzy at all. I love this stuff. I did struggle with this for a while because I was using too much of it and I really didn't like it, but I found with this, less is more or less is better. Loved this, it lasted forever. Um, this was my first, my last use was actually this morning, so 100% would buy this again and I'm gonna miss it until I buy it again. This is the Fenty Skin Buff Rider Exfoliating Body Scrub. So this was a wonderful body scrub. This is from the brand Fenty. This is a wonderful body scrub. I loved it so much. It had a wonderful, lovely scent to it. I gotta smell it again. Mmm, it just smelled really, really good. Like a warm kind of like, I don't know what that is. It's something a little bit warmer, not like a warm and a sweet kind of mixed together. Really nice for the shower. Smelled like kind of like a summertime product. Um, the scrub is really nice, but it does rinse off really quickly with water. So I found that I had to step out of the shower, not out of the shower, but like out of the water a little bit to get the scrub to really work because once water touches it or a splash hits it, it's like gone. It's everywhere. Um, I think I only used this four times maybe five times, but I want to say it was only four times, and it's already gone. It's way, way too expensive for how quickly I use it up. I wouldn't buy this again in a million years, but I loved it. It was such a good scrub. I'm actually going to cut this open and see if I could get one more use out of it, because I want to get my other use out of it. Wonderful, but not. it's not a price I want to pay for a scrub I use up that quickly. This is the Beekman uh, Milk Drops Probiotic Ceramide Serum. I absolutely loved this stuff. I missed it when I ran out. I do have another, um, a smaller one of this, and I loved this serum a lot. It was just some ceramide, some probiotic stuff, made my skin feel really good, didn't interfere with any other products. Absolutely loved it. Would buy this again. I'm, I'm actually surprised at how much I loved this. 100% would buy that again. This was something my boyfriend used up, the Malin and Getz uh, Grapefruit Face Cleanser. He showed me this yesterday and goes, hey, I used up this cleanser, and then he threw it in the trash and goes, forgettable. So that's all he said. He said it did have a scent, but he didn't say what it was. What was it? I don't remember what he said it smelled like, but I remember he mentioned the scent to me. 
Uh, but yeah, he said it was forgettable, so I had to mention it. This is something I'm just letting go of because it has turned bad and it stinks now. I opened it the other day to use it and it had like a pshht thing of air in there and I know that's not good. But this is the Isle of Paradise Self Tanning Drops. I have the scent, the shade, I was gonna say the scent, the shade medium. I love these. I love these with all of my heart. If you are afraid of self tan and you've always wanted to try it, something like this would be your best friend. Because all you do is you get two or three drops. I used two and then sometimes I would use three. And you just mix it into your regular moisturizer, mix it in kind of well, spread it all over wherever you want to use it, and it'll give you the nicest glow to your skin. I freaking love these so much. Um, but yeah, it's not good anymore. I use it every single weekend, but um, it has maybe like this much left. But it doesn't smell right anymore. It's very cloudy. Like I said, it had that weird pressure in there when I opened it. But 100% would buy this again. I loved those. And then I used up this mascara, the Tarte Surfer Curl Mascara. One of my all-time favorites. Um, I love this. It's wonderful. It curls a little bit, holds your curl really well, doesn't flake, smudge, smear, doesn't transfer up here at all. I love this. With all of my heart, 100% would buy this again. Wonderful mascara. I was trying to get another use out of it, but I, you know, I can't. I was like scraping the sides and everything. But I love this wand as well because it's nothing crazy. It's not too big. It's not too skinny. It's got the perfect bristles. I love it. Love everything about this mascara. Literally no complaints. Amazing. And that is it. Those are all the products I finished up in October. Let me know some things you used up. Have you tried any of the products I used up? I would love to know your opinion. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And I'll see you later in another video. Goodbye.